Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a travel vlog. I thought I'll switch it up and take you with us on our little trip. So we are in the beautiful uh, city of Cologne in Germany, if you haven't guessed from the title and from the background. So we are here to really explore the Christmas markets. And when I say we, I mean me and Mo. Hey guys. Say hi Mo. So yeah, he's the guy behind all the editing and all the content creation. Uh, so very talented uh, so we're off to walk towards cathedral and explore the christmas market and basically just here to indulge a little bit uh, and spend two days here so just a long weekend we've been to Cologne before haven't we yeah a couple of years ago so uh, just back again because we loved it so much um, but the weather is uh, kind of dull it's sprinkly but I guess that just adds to it all um, so yeah we're just gonna have a little wander take you with us show you a few bits and we'll catch up once we grab some food see you later got to the local Christmas market around the cathedral and we've gone for this amazing raclette which is a toasted baguette with garlic oil and herbs and raclette cheese on top with some pepper it looks absolutely amazing we had it last time and it was top notch it's the best in Europe so can't wait to get stuck in so excited this is our happy place isn't it I'm so not sure oh, no. in a roll and literally it is all sausage yeah. and no bread which is different for once <laughs> right, Take a bite. stuck in you yummy mm. Very good. Sauce. mustard and ketchup yummy mm. so guys we've got to the Christmas market had a little wonder um, and we've had some amazing food so far we're now on to a couple of hot chocolate and baileys over here Cheese. so here's hot chocolate and rum uh, we've bought some nougat which we'll show you later but it tastes absolutely amazing hi guys that nougat is going to show you this is what we bought earlier and it's the caramel nougat it was a bit on the spenny side but it's totally worth it mm, so good he said you can keep it up to a year but i think we'll finish it in a day so don't need to worry about that covered in almonds but there's no. caramel on it if you're here you're gonna have to get some of that right guys we're just in h&m doing a bottle of shopping thought i'd show you my little fit we're actually matching aren't we today in our neutrals little bit, yeah. so i think you might have seen this outfit before if you've seen my first video on youtube you can catch all the details there but just to start off with i've got my hat from ha designs limited and then i've layered up today so i've got this quilted jacket from h&m also a coat from H&M here and I've gone with a skirt and a Zara jumper and for footwear I've gone for socks and boots from Zara as well and actually even though my legs are out it's actually quite a warm day today and didn't need to layer up I'm quite hot in this actually can I give you a fit pick? so I've actually gone with a Zara woolly jacket essentials and H&M linen trousers, night socks and the Armour Manier Air Jordan 3 which I stepped in poo oh, in which is not the one so I actually had to buy some Crep Protect from the sweat shop
afternoon walking around shopping and now we've made our way to another Christmas market that we stumbled across but look how pretty it is <laughs> something that looks very much like a pizza but it's got cream sauce garlic bacon cheese and spring onions and it's on a, like a fried pizza base yeah. so we're gonna give it a go let's show me there right? crispy right, kind of crispy it. it's huge mm. Do you know what? Mm. that's surprisingly quite light crunchy bread base would highly recommend so good yeah. Let's get stuck in. now so we've been out for the last six to seven hours straight and we're absolutely exhausted not to mention that we woke up at about three o'clock for our flight which was at seven so yeah don't mind the flat hair and greasy skin at the moment but we managed to get so much done in the time that we've been out so we conquered two Christmas markets so the first one was the Christmas market next to the dome which is the cathedral which is absolutely beautiful and amazing and then we did a spot of shopping and then stumbled across a second market called the new market yeah new market okay so the new market and by the time we got there it was beautiful because the lights had turned on and the atmosphere was absolutely beautiful and i just think it's unmatched because i think we have something similar in the uk so we've got one in trafalgar square i just don't think it is ever the same kind of vibes so that's why we love going away during the christmas period to the christmas markets in europe but yeah it's just been amazing all the markets are really nice so it's a combination of food stalls as well as arts and crafts there's really pretty things that you can get for your christmas tree so we might get something for tomorrow but yeah it's been lovely the people are lovely here and not to mention that it's not been that busy actually i think it's because they're so strict here so at the moment to get to anywhere in shops or to any markets you need to show your covid passes so your qr code as well as have your id ready so it means that everyone has to be at least double vax when entering anywhere so i think that's probably why not many people are out um, and it also gives us that level of safety when we're out and about knowing that everyone's been double vax at least so that's been nice and then also it's been really warm hasn't it Super warm, yeah. So Mo's been walking around with no coat on and I want to say it's about 10 degrees outside and I had about four layers on because I get cold really easily and that was really unnecessary so I was just absolutely boiling the whole time um, and having to walk from one place to another so I think tomorrow I'll just wear a coat over a jumper and then be done with it and then on the way back we were checking from Newmarket how far we were from the hotel and it was a good half an hour walk and we thought sort of that so I thought oh let's try and get the um, train station or use the tube system and we seemed to finesse the system because we got on the right train without getting lost and getting back to our hotel don't know how we did that but the tickets were about two euros per adult and that gets you as far as four stations I think and that was good enough for us so much cheaper than the London Underground and yeah it's just been absolutely lovely here and we're absolutely knackered at the moment oh, I don't know if you saw a clip earlier I might insert it of Mo stepping in dog poo so bless him he's a sneakerhead and when you have like anything on your trainers you know it sends anxiety through the roof so he was in the bathroom for the last 10 minutes trying to scrub that way I think it's all sorted now it's sorted now huh? all done all done so <laughs> he's in a good way now because he's moaning more than all the way home um, so he's a happy lad now and I think we're just going to rest up um, and chill for a bit 
and we'll catch up a bit later when we know what we're doing. Okay. Right guys, we're on the way to dinner and we're off to a Vietnamese restaurant just five minutes away. Just fancy something soupy, so if you heard of pho, then you'll know what that is, but it's noodle soups and it's great for this type of weather. So something warming. Excited? Yeah. to the Vietnamese restaurant and we've ordered starter so I wanted Mo to try this dish out so this is a sour tomato prawn soup and it's called um, Gang Dong Ju. Right guys on to main so I've chosen the fur ball which is a noodle soup with beef really yummy and great for wintry months to keep you nice and warm and cozy. So guys I've actually gone with the red Thai curry with some prawn and rice uh, but I just wanted something just a bit of a throat tickler let's see how it goes I'm sure I'd enjoy it guys it is the next morning and it's Saturday we are going back to the UK tomorrow so we thought it'd be good to do our PCR test before we're off and out in case we forget to do it later as well as our passenger locator forms so I've got everything ready in front of me my swab and the little tube so I'm just gonna do that right now and hopefully fingers crossed it will be negative right no, I'm not sure. Oh god, that was so itchy. I'm on the verge of sneeze then. Really, I do sneeze. Right, so in it goes. And you can see that there. Some squeezies. Four drops into here. We all know the protocol. And hopefully in the next 15 minutes it should give me a test result So Fingers crossed. Right guys, we are off to the Love Bridge to check out the locks because when we were here the last time we uh, put a lock on so our little mission today is to try and scope where we put it. Have any idea where it is? That's like the second hump. You'll see what I mean. Right, we're going to give it a go <laughs> and see if it's there but there's probably been a million other locks. Yeah. So anyway, wish us luck. See you later. Right guys, we are here at the Love Bridge and check out all the locks, they're so well, beautifully stacked, really colourful, there's just so many. Hundreds of thousands here. And one moment, the second hump, I think, if you look at the distance here, you can see the bridge has three humps. And you look at the middle hump. And each hump has like, I think 10 poles, but we did attach it high up and it was red. So we're going to give it a go and see if we can find it. We didn't find the padlock, but we found Mo with Vanessa. Mo short for Morris. So Morris and Vanessa was here in 2019, apparently. <laughs> Got something to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the Love Bridge and we spent the last 10 minutes, I want to say, looking for this lock. And you know what? I think we're going to have to hang up the little handkerchief. Is it a handkerchief? No. <laughs> little white flag. <laughs> Uh, and say we were defeated and we couldn't find it. I mean, by now it's probably rusted. Our lock was red, wasn't it? Yeah, it's probably gone uh, orange now. So it's probably gone it? really orange by now. So chances of finding it is near next to zero. There's like millions of padlocks. Yeah, here. you can even see as we're walking in the background here how many there are. It's really nice and colourful, but unfortunately we couldn't find it. We'll just have to find another padlock and add one to the bridge. But yeah, it's quite nice that they haven't taken any down um, and we're just gonna walk back now and see what we get up to. Might maybe grab some lunch, mm. um, but we'll catch you later in a bit. Cheers. <laughs> Hi guys, we are back and we're having a little break in the coffee shop as you can see. Today's noticeably more colder 
saying yesterday, I think it's been, it's been a little bit cocky yesterday by saying, oh, it's warm, you know, don't need all the layers. But in fact, today I've only got two layers on and it's pretty cold. Um, it's the kind of cold that when you're out there for a good half an hour or so, it kind of gets to your bones. Um, so we're having a break and we've got some Danishes here. I've got some vanilla pastry here and then Mo's got a, what was it? Cinnamon. A cinnamon swirl. So just having that, I think we're going to do a bit more shopping today. Maybe visit more uh, Christmas markets because it's our last full day, so we might as well. Um, and then maybe grab lunch. Yeah. Grab lunch. Um, but for now, we're just chilling and taking it real slow. Until then, see ya. another Christmas market, no surprises. And we're proper wrapped up warm, aren't we? Because it's colder today. Yeah. So I've got my layers on, including this really cute bib situation number here, which I'll link below in my beret. I always think that I look a bit like a mushroom, but I'm going with it to help retain the heat. Uh, but where are we off to, B? We're going to, oh, Stuttgarten. Going to Stuttgart. There, and then we'll keep you posted. See you later. Hey guys. So we're now back at the hotel room. We've just come back from uh, the Christmas market and we're ready to pack our luggage because we've got an early flight tomorrow at nine. So we'll probably just wake up for that and leave. So I think it's a good time to end the vlog here because it's the end of our trip. If you've enjoyed this, then if you can like, comment and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. And I'll know to do more in the future. But for now, I'll see you in the next vlog. Gonna show you our little rough loft loft loft. And welcome to a travel vlog. Oh, I put my mask on. Oh. oh sad like a fart, didn't it? It's just my legs. Right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm in focus. Look. Can I focus you? No. The Luck Luck Bridge has the last Love Lock. We are off to the <laughs> What? today I thought I'll layer up so I've got my ber ber beret beret I just think, always think that I look like a bit of like a mushroom so I do have Trafalgar Square oh it turned off huh it turned off no back